Hey, welcome back. It's uh, Brad Taylor at Taylor Coach in Milgram, Ontario, Canada. Uh, today we're bringing you back to show you a particular coach. This is a 2012 12-foot Bobby. Um, I want to show you some of the great features we've done for 2012. And this is a pretty popular coach for us when there's just the two of you. Want to do some traveling. You don't have a big automobile, but you really want all the same creature comforts as you have in that 35-footer. Because this has your fridge, stove, sink, shower, ducted heat system. And it, with all those features still on this coach with all your awnings and that, still only brings you in a weight of about 1,375 pounds. And you have all your awnings, electric brakes, spare, and all your holding tanks. So we'll show you some of the features so you got an idea of what I'm talking about. On the front here, we got your two 20-pound propane tanks. One's running the coach to have all your features running on the inside. We've got your other tank out here for your cooking and barbecuing. So you don't have to buy all your green tanks and throw away tanks. You've got a tank up here securely fastened and that so it's accessible to you for doing all your cooking. And when your one tank runs out, you've always got another tank to back you up. You've got your, your uh, battery sitting in behind it here for running the coach. And something that's always been really popular on our coaches is having this nice, we got the stone guard on the front with a nice big front window here. So when you're sitting on the inside and you get up in the morning and you're having a coffee, got your bed made up and stuff like that, and you're kind of looking out in the park deciding what you're going to do for the day, you got lots of visibility out in the park. They're all tinted windows, so they're solar, solar and UV reflected to give you privacy, keeps it a little cooler inside, and you're kind of making up your mind to what you're going to do for the daytime. And this makes a really great feature that a lot of people really like about our coaches. When you do go into the travel mode, you always got to make sure when your stone guard's down, you got your pins clipped on it, so you don't lose it. It's pretty hard when it gets into the wind there. It'll, it'll destroy your stone guard on you. From there, moving you over to the side here, we've got a, an A&E rollout awning on the side here. It has a projection of eight feet. Um, you can also screen it all in. If you choose to screen it all in, it's really your choice as a consumer. If you're camping in those times when it's really buggy and that outside, you can screen it all in. And in this particular coach, how we get all the features in it, it does have a rear door on it. It's not a side door model. And make a note on that. This is for exterior width is only 78 inches. So it's six foot six wide. So you don't have all the width to have mirrors on your vehicle to be able to see by it. You got lots of visibility with the mirrors you already own. So you don't have to add any extra mirrors on it to see by it. Um, from there, you've got, uh, we put your light on the side here, and it makes it nice, keeps all the bugs over to the side here, away from the door, so you're not swatting bugs at the night time to keep them out of your coach when you're going in and out it. Um, you know, we've got the great BAL jacks on it again for leveling and everything. These are rated at 7,500 pounds. And something I did with this coach, different than I've showed with the other ones, is that where it's sitting on our ground here, the ground was very unlevel. So I chose to show you guys as consumers out there that we build all our coaches with such integrity that the walls are sitting on top of the floor with such strength in it that this is right off the ground here. To get this coach level because I don't want to be sleeping where the blood's rushing to my head or anything because that's the head where we have our head on that side of the coach sleeping. You can jack it up and down and to sort of show you that feature, it's just putting it on here where that's jacked up and I can jack it up and down, raising it higher or raising it lower. It really depends on where you need it in the trailer to make it accessible so that the coach is nice and level so that you enjoy the spot you're at. Because a lot of times when you come in the campgrounds, you can't always go ask for another campsite. So you got to sort of put up with the one you've got. And that's something that we've always had built in in all our coaches. Um, you still have the, uh, this has the rear awning on it, so you have your projection over the door that comes out three feet. Um, I've showed you that on some of the other ones to show you again quickly. This is basically just a slip pop out. You've got your little pieces here for your pieces over top of the door, and it also will dip from there, just roll back up. You set it, and you adjust your height, and away you go. You've got your outside light here again. Again, this is all still, again, your one-piece aluminum roof, one-piece aluminum underbelly, you don't have to worry about all the uh, mice underneath and spraying them and try to protect it. You don't have any problems with mice or ants or anything in owning a Taylor coach. Um, over on the other side here, we've got all our, uh, we get our camera guy over here. We've got all our termination valves, very accessible, lots of clearance off the ground, well angled in that, that you don't have to worry about damaging any of your valves or anything. 
It has electric electric brakes, easy lube axles. Uh, you got your furnace, city water hookup, all pressure regulated. Your hydro hookup, and then from there you have your sewer hose carrier here, where it's all protected. Never cut your sewer hose. Easy to get in and out. It's easy to rinse it all out. Never rust like they put them in bumpers and all that. Absolutely tremendous. Makes it really great for, for your sewer hose. Let's bring you on board and we'll show you some of the features on the inside. Giving you a quick run through on the inside. We got a, a 2.7 on the fridge here. So you got your freezer up above. Uh, it's a two-way Dometic. Uh, two burner cooktop. One's a high output, a regular. You got your microwave. Lots of storage up above here. Lots of storage down below with your cutlery tray again. You've all got electronic ignition hot water heater for on and off. High rise neck on the counter for lots of lots of use to get underneath the, the tap so you're not fighting to get your pots and that underneath. Lots of easy clean around the counter here with a drape that pulls down so it keeps your counter nice and clean. Uh, in the bathroom here, we've got uh, uh, a shower toilet combo where you've got your... Your, your taps. We even go down to as far as heating in the bathroom here so it's got a heat vent in the bathroom so you can adjust your heat so that your bathroom stays nice and warm. So if you love doing that camp in an early spring, late fall, winter, you've even got heat in the bathroom so even the toilet's warm all the time. Um, moving you around to the front here. Show you a little on the front. We got our big bunk up above here. The bunk comes down so you got you got your bunk storage, your blankets and pillows up above. When your bunk's in, in its back up position here, you also have it that it's just an overhead cupboard here for storage and that. You got your dinette that goes down into a bed here. To show you quickly go into a bed, the two cushions pop up. Table comes up, lifts down. Your cushions come across it like so. This makes into a 60 by 75 inch bed. So it's an inch longer than a double and the width of a queen with lots of storage underneath. What a fabulous bed in a trailer that only has a 9 foot floor. 12 foot 8 overall from hitch to bumper. Pop this back up. Just pops back up. We still have that great little ledge at the front on all our coaches like we always have. Table hooks on, cushions down, so it's back into a dinette. You got your ledge up at the front here for putting all your watches, glasses. Like I said, this has a ducted heat system in it, so it's evenly heated from up on the dinette here to underneath the closet. You've got lots of storage in the closet here with a couple of shelves and rods. You can also get it with just all shelves in the closet. It's really your choice as a consumer. Um, well, I really hope you enjoyed the video on this coach. I enjoyed bringing it to you. And again, if you're looking for information on us, taylorcoach.com. You can find our location, telephone number, and my name's Brad Taylor. For free to give us a shout. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, we'll be bringing some more videos to you in the real near, near future here. Um, take care. Um, we'll talk to you soon.